Hello, I'm Michael Diamond. You're watching Muscle Central. Make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications. All right, uh, I'm going to reassess my initial evaluation uh, of Michael Crizzo. Uh, who's Michael Crizzo? We've seen a lot of him on his social media. Uh, he is a IFBB elite pro. Uh, separate from the IFB Pro League, once one organiz one whole organ one organization, they were both under the same banner. Breakaway, uh, Michael Crizzo goes with the Elite Pro. And now, uh, we're seeing a lot of pictures of him uh, online, a lot of videos. They look really impressive. Uh, there's actually been some back and forth He's, while he was still competing in Leap Pro, making some challenges towards the competitors over here in the IFBB Pro League. Now, as you all know, he's made the move over to the Pro League, leaving the uh, Elite Pro. We were all under the assumption that he's going to be competing in the MPC and then uh, uh, win a pro qualifier to get his pro card. Most like scenario, most likely scenario is he's going to be given the pro card, not simply because he was a pro in another division. He became pro while they were together, while they won the one banner. And when they, when there was a split up, he went that direction. To say you're not a pro anymore here, you have to re-earn your pro card would be like uh, retribution uh, for not going with us. They'll give him the pro card. He looks he's he looks to be set to compete in the Prague Pro coming up in about ten weeks. Uh wins wins the show, goes to the Olympia. Now my assessment of him was that we're still as impressive as he looks, he's a big man, carries a lot of muscle, uh Looks to do pretty good with conditioning also. Uh, on stage in Elite Pro, he just walked away with the shows. But I don't put, for the most part, the competitors in uh, that division. No disrespect to them. It's just the way it is. They're not quite at the same level as we see, for the most part, in the IFBB Pro League. We still have to see him next to the best over here. And then uh, we really know where we stand with him. But uh, right from the get-go, I didn't think it was out of the question he's going to be in the top 10, uh, whether he can make top 8 or top 5. Like I said, we haven't seen him next to all these other top competitors. But... He's in the United States now, and he's been making the rounds. Stopped off by uh, Bev's, Bev and Steve's gym. Uh, got some posing tips from uh, Steve Weinberger. He's very good with that. He's always willing to give time and put you through some posing. Uh, he's been seen at the Dragon's Lair uh, Flex Lewis, or Mil Sacha, the most recently, he ran into Jake Cutler in the uh, Venice Skulls, the Mecca. Or maybe called the former Mecca now. Uh, and all these people, well, I haven't heard anything out of Steve Weinberg, any comments from him. But as far as Flex Lewis goes, Mil Sacha, Jake Cutler, they were all extremely impressed. Uh, 
yeah, he's imp and he's impressive looking at him in his pictures and videos that, that we have available of him. But all three of them also said uh, something, and it holds true. It's held true for numerous bodybuilders in the past. Dorian Yates was one. I said pictures, videos just don't do him justice. You have to see these really as good as it might look. You know, those pictures and videos. You have to see him a person to really. Uh, appreciate what they're bringing and uh, I think uh, the three of them uh, Flex, Milos and Jay all have a lot of years under their belt uh, they know bodybuilding and they were top level competitors Two of them were Olympia, Mr. Olympias, 212 Olympia and Mr. Olympia. Uh, Milos has been in the game for I don't know how many years now. When they see something that's real, that's the real deal, they know it. Uh, now I'm like really, really excited to see him step on the pro stage for the first time, which should be the Prague Pro. And what's going to happen when he makes it to the Olympia stage, uh, three very highly respected people in bodybuilding are extremely impressed, say, same thing, you have to see this person in person to really appreciate what he's bringing. And, you know, <laughs> watching the video when he ran into Jay Cutler and Gold's Venice, uh, and Jimmy strips down and he starts doing posing for Jay. And you can see Jay watching him go through these poses. Forget about Jay's words. Just the look on Jay's face was like, holy fucking shit. This guy is something else. Uh, well, that's the way I read it. Once again, it still comes down to we have to see him on stage against these top guys here. But Going by uh, comments made by three highly respected people in bodybuilding, I think he's going to be right up there at the top battling for these top places. Uh, there's going to be a few unhappy people that uh, have been up there and expect to stay up there. All right, uh, that's about it for this video. If you agree or disagree with anything I've said, please let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share. By all means, subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell. So every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Go to the description box. I have links there. One link is the Facebook Muscle Central page. Questions for me, go there. I'll be happy to answer your, answer them. Links to Species Nutrition, Mr. G's pro, Protein Snacks. Go there, check out all their great products. I got a link to Buffy the Iron Slayer, Chris Miller's channel. He does muscle talk and raging muscle with me. Go there, check out all his content. Subscribe there. Once again, it's Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.